Oh. Oh. It's okay. He's sweet. Now what do we have here? <laughs> Excellent! A spider. Look at that, that's beautiful. Trapdoor spiders are really unique and primitive arachnids in the infraorder Megalomorphae. Now these primitive spiders have a very cool and unique method of surviving. They make very cryptic tunnels that they will pop out of to hunt prey. Now these are typically very secretive spiders, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to find one today. Let's take a look and try our luck at finding the wafer lid trapdoor spider. Hi friends, so today I'm out in the middle of the forest. So you can see behind me and to the sides. I'm in the forest today and uh, I'm looking for critters. And more specifically, I'm looking for spiders. And more specifically, I'm looking for spiders that get me happy. And what I mean by that is not your common spiders, but maybe some uncommon spiders. So I'm gonna poke around and we're gonna see just what the universe bestows upon us spider-wise. Uh, and I'm hoping it's something good because uh, we've had some good luck uh, around this area with spiders before. Uh, so I'm real hopeful, real hopeful that we're gonna be able to find something, you know, uh, that... Uh... Now they know that we're here. It's great work, idiot. I'm sorry. Sorry, folks, about that. You know, had a, had a little insubordination. <laughs> right. Anyway. So I'm going to be looking for spiders, as I said prior to what the sentence before this was. And um, we're going to just be poking around, seeing what we can find. <laughs> just having a great time and looking for, uh, looking for spiders of some species, of some kind. So... Uh, let's take a look. Let's see if we can hack up on some on some interesting uh, uh, spiders. We spent hours flipping rocks and looking for tunnels. But, of course, with the cryptic nature of these trapdoor spiders, it can be seriously difficult to locate an actual burrow. So we began to turn our sights on hopefully coming up on a male while on the prowl. Now, males will regularly leave the safety of rocks, logs, and their burrows to seek females. So, we had a decent chance of perhaps finding a male while he is out on a lovely stroll. Go now, run. My name is Barry Allen, and I'm the slowest speedster in the CW universe. I think I'll go home now. You find any spiders? Not quite, not quite. Not yet, nothing yet. No, not yet. Did you at least go faster than the speed force? Faster than the speed force? Not possible. Faster than the speed of light, maybe. Breaking the barrier of time, maybe, but that is because of the speed force. The speed force is a thing you can use it to go fast. Is you can't go faster than it. God. Now what do we have? 
caviar. <laughs> Excellent! A spider that does indeed excite me. Look here. Oh, this is my first one I've ever found. Sick! Come here, cutie. Whoa, easy. Easy. Oh. 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 Check this out. This is a male wafer lid trapdoor spider look at that beautiful color absolutely amazing now sadly i usually only encounter male trapdoor spiders why do you think because females can sometimes inhabit their burrow for the entirety of their lives and it's the adult males that have to venture out on a rite of passage as they mature uh, in order to you know you know, mate with their lovely female counterparts to create even more spiders. Look at that, that's beautiful. That's really nice color. Much different than your typical kind of black, glossy and gray abdomen color of our other native trapdoor spiders in the genus Umidia. Look at that, that's beautiful. Now as the name might suggest, these spiders create webbed tunnels with a hinging door on the top. And trapdoor spiders will sit in these little tunnels in complete safety. And they have these little webs going out from the center of where this hole meets the, meets the surface of the ground and underneath this little lid. And so they sit there and they wait. And when they feel vibrations, boom, 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 bouncing across those little sensory lines that they've set, they brrr, they shoot out, bam, grab, pull food up underneath their fangs, inject it, paralyzing it and partially digesting it, and then they slurp out the delicious slurry that they have made for themselves. Now, trapdoor spiders belong to a more primitive group of arachnids, a more primitive group of spiders called megalomorphs. And megalomorphs are really special. This includes your funnel web spiders, your trapdoor spiders, your tarantulas. And these spiders are really crazy unique in that they have ridiculously long lifespans. In fact, the oldest ever spider recorded was a trapdoor spider. This animal lived in excess of 40 years. Now, this wasn't this exact species, but that just goes to show you how amazing these primitive spiders are compared to some of our like orb weavers, which are which can be seasonal. They can die at the end of the year. They live for about a, a year total from tiny little baby uh, to full grown adult uh, that reproduces. So it's really crazy to see the vast difference in potential lifespan between these two groups of spiders. Look at that. Easy killer. Now, one of the main differences between these megalomorphs and true spiders is the positioning of their fangs. Megalomorphae actually have their fangs situated directly pointing underneath their body versus our true spiders, which have their fangs pinch in from the sides. So that's a little morphology tip. If you get close enough to a spider and you're not sure if it's a megalomorph or not, flip it over, look at his little tummy, Take a look at his lovely fangs, and he'll tell you right then and there, or she'll tell you right then and there. Just kidding. Don't go handle, don't go, don't go chasing waterfall. Don't handle spiders uh, if you're not sure what species they are, because there are some spiders that can, can deliver a quite painful bite. In fact, many of these trapdoor spiders are likely to have quite potent venom because they have to kill and subdue their prey so quickly uh, that they, Got a lot in the tank. But take a look at that beautiful red color. Absolutely love that. I'm gonna try and get some good shots of this beautiful spider in hopes that we can showcase the absolute stunning beauty that is the wafer lid trapdoor. Oh, so cool. Should I try and put it on my face? I think so, right? Everybody likes to do that. Well, everybody, I mean me. No. Oh, I see 
he's still he's still he's on my forehead now I don't want him to fall <gasps> oh he fell good thing he landed on a nice leaf pal I don't want to distress him because I don't want to take a bite from this guy I have no idea just how much of a nasty feeling it would be Let's see if I can get him right back on there come on pal get on my big nose whoa don't fall again. Wait, bite me right on the face. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. He's sweet. Right? Everybody at home's going, oh, gross. Come here, cutie. Oh, so sweet. What a helpful cameraman. But look at that. Once again, absolutely spectacular. We're gonna try and get some cool shots of this animal and hopefully we can let it get on its way, presumably to find a mate. Cause there's no way in all of the world that we would stand between a handsome trapdoor spider bachelor. Oh, look, he's vibrating. What was that? What was that? Oh my gosh. He's not doing it anymore. He was going, he was going like this. Like he was flexing all of his legs at the same time. What? That's so weird. I don't know if that's like a defensive mechanism or what. I'd imagine that would be a communication style thing. A lot of these spiders, um, especially when mating, uh, will vibrate on the female's web to let her know i'm not food i'm not food i'm not food I, i'm a male i promise like I, I can provide you with genetic material to fulfill the role of reproducing which is very important to spiders and all other organisms really that is so weird i was just talking about we don't want to interrupt the beautiful process of trapdoor mating it looks oh, like he's, he's found a mate i know he's look at that see how he's twitching like that he's vibrating I don't know if he's stridulating or what, but when he's like retracting his legs, it's making like a buzzing, like a little vib vibration. That is so, so interesting. Wow, that's really cool. Well, I'm gonna take that as he's, you know, really hunkering for a lady. So we're gonna let him get back to doing whatever it was he was doing. And uh, we're gonna get some shots of him as he makes his way out. And then uh, I think we got what we need from our lovely Trapdoor spider. Awesome. Wafer lid trapdoor spider. Oh, so cool. Well, we had a great time. We did indeed find an interesting spider, the wafer lid trapdoor spider. We were able to catch this lovely male as he was possibly sauntering his way into his lady's aorta. It's not dirty. Aorta is the valve by which hemolymph is pumped through invertebrates. So the invertebrate heart, basically. So, okay. So the vascular tissue. Not anything gross, but, you know, they would be mating. So there's also that. I, I, I'm meaning to say we were happy to see our friend on his way to a mate, perhaps. And we were happy to let him go along his way to hopefully find that very one. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little spider adventure. I hope you enjoyed some of the unique and interesting information about the lovely trapdoor spider, specifically the wafer lid trapdoor spider. It's very beautiful, very red, very nice. It's one of the best spiders in the world. Very good. So, thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future posts or videos. Join our channel memberships for exclusive behind-the-scenes content and to, of course, support me. Um, and uh, c come around next time because uh, if you like this episode, you'll like the other ones. So go watch the old ones and stick around for the new ones, and uh, I'll see you next time.